Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Sauce. It's the backup channel backing Celeb up and bringing you all the breaking news. Jury selection for the YSL RICO case started last week, and when the jurors arrived, the judge told every one of the jurors in the potential pool that you better show up every day you're supposed to be here, because if you don't, I'm sending the sheriffs to your house, and you will be found in contempt of court. Well, apparently, juror number 64 was not listening, because this chick went on a business trip to the Dominican Republic and she did not report to court on the days that she was supposed to report to court. Now, because this chick was not taking her responsibilities as a citizen seriously, you know what Judge Glanville did? He told the deputies to take her into custody as soon as she returned. When Jura number 64 came back from her business vacay, she pranced into that court and they snatched her up with the quickness and brought her before the bench. As she was standing there, the judge asked her, why did you not report to court? And she gave like 50 million excuses. She was like, I wasn't here, I was on a business trip, and when I got back, I didn't see my mail because my mail was at my grandmother's house, and then I couldn't go to my grandmother's house because I had been traveling and I needed to quarantine, and then after I quarantined, I tried to send notice to the court, I tried to email the court, I tried to call the court, but I couldn't get through because the number on my summons is different than the number on the website. Well, after listening to all of juror number 64's excuses, Judge Glanville was not having it and he hit her with contempt of court, which is punishable by a $1,000 fine and 20 days in jail. But you know what? The judge was like, I'm not even going to do that to you. Instead, I want a 30-page essay on why jury duty is important and who historically has not been able to do jury duty because he said that's very important. He was like, I want 30 pages. I want it in APA format. I want 10 primary sources. I want 10 secondary sources. And you better not plagiarize this paper because I'm running it through a plagiarism checker. It is due on February 13th. And when it's done, you're going to email it to me and we're going to sit down and we're going to discuss this paper. Oh my goodness, when the judge told her to write the 30-page paper with the APA citation and the sources, I was on the floor. But I think it's a very good punishment for the crime. I like the fact that he got creative with it. And I think more judges should get creative with their sentencing. Instead of just throwing petty criminals in jail, give them an assignment that teaches them a lesson and helps them become more productive members of society. Now get this, according to TMZ, Ye, aka Kanye West, has gotten remarried to a woman named Bianca Sensori, who is an architectural designer for Yeezy. Ye and Bianca allegedly tied the knot in a private ceremony, but they have not yet filed the marriage certificate, so it might not be 100% legal or official. According to reports, Kanye was first seen with the mystery woman when they were out on a dinner date in Los Angeles on January 9th. The two were seen sharing a meal at the Waldorf Astoria Beverly Hills and Ye was rocking a wedding ring. The sighting of Ye with his new wifey occurred just days after he had reportedly attended church amid rumors that he was missing. Listen, I don't know if Ye actually got remarried or if this is another one of his publicity stunts or if he met this chick and she put the whip appeal on him so good that he had to put a ring on it. But what I will say is that I have a problem with any adult who has kids under a certain age who goes out and just marries some complete stranger who they don't know whether or not that person would have a good relationship with their kids. I mean, for real, when you have kids and you start dating again, you got to ease the kids into that relationship and then you got to test out that new person to see if not only do they love you, but do they love your kids too. You got to think, if something should happen to Kim Kardashian, this chick would be like North, South, East and West's stepmother. You got to test and assess the person who you're talking about bringing into the family fold. Ye is walling out right now and Ye might be on the verge of losing his kids for good if he keeps playing around. He better get it together. And look, somebody's going to come in the comments and they're going to be like, yo, sis, you don't know whether or not he introduced the new chick to his kids. Look, Ye was dating like four, five, six, seven, eight different chicks last month, okay? Including the one that was like Drake was the best date she ever had. There, there's no, there's no real relationship building that went on in that time period. 
Yo, check this out. During a 40-minute social media sermon, Tory Lanez's father says that Tory Lanez has forgiven Megan the Stallion. Mr. Peterson got online and had the audacity to say, quote, this might come as a shock to many of you, but guess what? Both my son, myself, and others of our family have long decided that we are not going to hold any animosity against Megan Pete, aka Megan the Stallion. We forgave that girl a long time ago. A long time ago. End quote. What? Yo, did this dude just say what I think this dude just said? Did Tory Lanez's father just say that him and his family have forgiven Megan the Stallion for taking his son to court because his son shot her in the foot? You know what they say. They say that the family that prays together stays together. But I'm starting to realize that the family that smokes crack together gets smacked together. Because in his Sermon from the Mount on YouTube, Tory Lanez's father, who's an ordained minister and former pastor, went on to say, quote, We know that the principle of forgiveness is important in order to cleanse one's heart, to cleanse one's soul, and to not be bound up with hatred, hatred, resentment, bitterness. Those things can actually lead to diseases of the bones. It has been proven, and it can cause sickness in your body because you're holding on to something that is negative against the real life force in your life. End quote. Look, it's very obvious to me at this point that both Tory Lanez and his father, who is a self-proclaimed ambassador of the kingdom of heaven, have some serious issues. I don't know what's going on with the rest of the family, but I know these two got some problems. And the fruit didn't fall too far from the tree. And I would go as far as to say that if I was sitting in church and Tory Lanez's father stepped up to get behind the pulpit to start preaching a sermon, I would walk out because I can recognize a foul spirit. You gotta have the spirit of discernment, people. And some things are just not of God. Just because somebody walks like a preacher and talks like a preacher and quacks like a preacher doesn't mean they're a real preacher. And you gotta know that the devil was once an angel, so he knows scripture too. Just because somebody's out there rattling off a whole bunch of scriptures does not mean that they're giving you the precise word of God. Tory Lanez's father better get it together because you can't be out in these YouTube streets talking about you're a man of God and then still be trying to blame Megan the Stallion for what your son did because those two things do not go together. And speaking about two things that don't go together, a young lady recently lost her boyfriend, right? And during the funeral, she decided that she was going to get up and she was going to say a few words. So she's standing there in front of the congregation, and I mean, she's got the tears, and she's overcome with grief. And then she says, quote, we used to be in the club singing this song together. Now I got to sing it with you, end quote. And then she goes on to recite the lyrics to Future's March Madness. My girl was like, quote, Dirty soda in a styrofoam. Spend a day getting my mind blown. Dress it up and go to NASA. 200 miles on a dash. And gotta roll a pound up and gas it. Switching lanes in the Grand Rapid. We the ones that kept it cool with these ninjas. Till these ninjas started acting. Shoot a ninja like a film in a movie. Ninjas gonna let them have it. We ballin' like it's March Madness. All these cops shooting ninjas tragic. I'm the one that's living lavish. Like I'm playing for the Mavericks. I didn't want to F the B. The Molly made me effort even though she's average. End quote. <laughs> now, mind you, as she's saying this, an usher comes up and gives her a tissue to wipe away her tears. And the people in the congregation are like chiding her on. And they're like, mm, girl, take your time. Take your time. <laughs> hey, yo, what in the world is going on out in these streets? I mean, I get it. You and your boyfriend really loved the song when you were bouncing in the clubs. However, that is not appropriate for a funeral. I mean, I get it. Everybody grieves differently, but we gotta also have a little respect for the church. Listen, listen, whatever happened to like Amazing Grace and like his eyes on the sparrow? I just, honestly, I don't even know what to think anymore. It's like every time I think we've reached a low, we find a way to take it even lower. But I mean, that's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is Future's March Madness appropriate for a funeral march? And if you're one of those people out there who thinks it is, then um, what particular trap hymn would you like recited at your homegoing service?
You know what? Let me move on to the next story. Check this out. Your man Big Daddy Kane came out the cut and he was on 97.9 The Box. And while he was being interviewed, Big Daddy Kane gave mad love to J. Cole. Big Daddy Kane said, quote, J. Cole is my hero. That's my dude right there. J. Cole is my hero. I love Kendrick as well. End quote. Kane went on to say, quote, a lot of people out here right now are coming to people such as myself and many others, giving us our flowers and whatnot while we're still here. But listen, I want to give J. Cole his flowers like on the real. I want this brother to know he's my favorite MC out here right now. End quote. Kane went on to say that the reason why he loves J. Cole so much is that when he listens to the young brother, he feels like hip hop is alive and hip hop is here to stay. Big Daddy Kane also gave some love to Quavo Offset in the late takeoff by comparing them to some of the pioneering groups from hip hop's early days. Kane said, quote, I was so hoping and praying to see another Migos album because their style reminded me of the Funky 4 Plus 1 with their in and out and I'm a fan of their music and their fashion because that's something that's important to me. Those dudes be fly. End quote. Listen, I don't even know if some of these young kids out here understand what it means when Big Daddy Kane gives you your props. That means a lot. Listen, much respect to Big Daddy Kane. Yo, thinking about Kane makes me think back to like when dudes were really, really doing their things with the flat tops, right? And it's making me wonder like who had the best flat top? Was it Kane? Was it Kwame? Or was it Kid from Kid and Play? Let me know what you think in the comments. And while you're making that comment, be sure to smash the like button if you're feeling any part of the content. Now check it out. Last week, Gabrielle Union was all over social media talking about her first marriage. And she was saying that the reason why she cheated on her first husband is because she was horny for validation. Gabrielle said that her first marriage was a big hot mess and that her husband was running around cheating. So she decided two can play at that game and she started cheating too. When speaking about the marriage to Chris Howard, Gabrielle was like, quote, neither one of us felt like the marriage should get in the way of our dating. Part of it was keeping up with his activities. I just felt entitled to it as well. I was paying all the bills. I was working my A off and I felt like that's what comes with the spoils of riches. And like my dad before me, whoever has the most gets to do whatever the hell they want, end quote. Well, 50 Cent heard what Gabrielle Union had to say, and when he was on Big Boy's Neighborhood, he definitely shared his opinion about the subject. 50 Cent said that Gabrielle Union is on some ho-ish. Check out what 50 had to say. For saying that, I mean, like, for just mm -hmm. saying I, I'm, I was the breadwinner, like, making more money, so now he, he should just go with whatever I say until what? If, until she go find something she like? Right. No, I hear you. And it's a lot. Like, cause this is really what we're talking about. This is hoe shit, man. Mm -hmm. This is like the mentality <laughs> of, of someone who's a hoe. Because she's saying, if 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 you got more, got a bigger bag, big, then I'll listen. Right. I'll stay home. But if their bag ain't right, I'm out. That's the whole that's whole talk, man. You know? This is hoe shit. Like we're not saying it that not male, female, but just yeah, but, across. Yeah. Right, like, Broad no, stroke. No, this is what the hoes would do. <laughs> Hey, yo, 50 Cent is off the hook. As far as I'm concerned, when you're in a marriage and you make a covenant before God, neither one of you should be out in the street cheating. But we live in a real world and cheating does happen. So let's discuss it. Is 50 Cent right? Is Gabrielle Union on some hoe-ish? Or if you listen to what she really said, she said that her husband was running around in those streets. So she decided to run around in those streets too. Does that make a difference? Is she supposed to sit home while he's out doing a nasty with somebody else and just sit there twiddling her thumbs until he comes home? Or does she get the free pass? Especially since she was paying all the bills. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Sauce, your source for celebrity news be sure to like and subscribe to the channel peace